may recognize this painting coat. It's a vintage KCOM gross anatomy lab coat. <laughs> Just like this coat, osteopathic medicine, my life and my art have been intertwined. I was delivered into the world by a DO. I married into the McWilliams clan, where Tom, a KCOM graduate, became a third generation osteopathic physician whose grandfather actually knew Dr. Still. It was an amazing opportunity and an honor to create a painting for A.T. Still University and now to share the healing touch with you here at KCOM with full-size Gicle prints. Beautifully framed by Beard's Gallery, I might add. Did a great job. In researching Dr. Still, with help from the A.T. Still Museum director, Jason Haxton, I was provided old photographs of Dr. Still, as well as finding out some interesting things about him, such as he was six feet tall and had plaster casts made of his hands. After reading Dr. Still's autobiography, I discovered he had great compassion for those in need, especially the underserved. So I decided to express this as a concept of the healing touch. I analyzed Dr. Still's face from old photographs. I needed this information to be able to paint a younger Dr. Still. I did use a stand-in model for the figure of Dr. Still, but don't worry, only osteopathic physicians were used in the making of this painting. <laughs> painting skills and thoughtful judgment are necessary in creating a painting. But one of the most difficult things to accomplish, the real art of a painting, is how to use art principles like composition, line, and color to elevate what it is you see before you to translate those into how it makes you feel. If this painting inspires you or touches your heart, I will consider it a success. Thank you very much. It is beautiful and stunning, and to think that we have it on both ends of campus, uh, Delos, thank you so much for your energy and work. Um, as beautiful as this is, you could also have a copy of it on fine acid-free paper, professionally done, the best that we could make, and the funding through Dr. McWilliams and DeLoss would go to help students just like Dr. Still with health concerns. And so for a minimum $50 donation, you could have a print and have it signed. So if you're interested, we'd ask you to stay and uh, meet the artist and have that done. It'll also be lunchtime now, so for those of you, and there'll be pictures being taken of alumni, so why don't you take care of those activities now. Thank you again and enjoy the painting. <laughs> <laughs>